what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here since i'm a halloween ends in this video here again today going over uh some some of my thoughts about the test screen reactions and going because i've i've had like two sent to me and going over things that i think they could have done to make this movie different going off of the narrative we know we're going to get and how i think this could have benefited us with a different character uh someone we already know who's been here from the previous two movies and i'll get into that in a second and also talking about Laurie Strode's recent, not Laurie Strode, Jamie Lee Curtis's recent words that she shared with People, People Magazine or People.com, when talking about uh, the final shot of Halloween Ends and how this might have been just an outright blatant spoiler of what her fate will be in this movie. So, to start off with, when it relates to this character of Corey Cunningham, Corey Cunningham, we know, is supposed to be the main focus going into halloween ends that's the assumption going off of the synopsis and the details that have already been coming out online and if you're someone who really doesn't want to have any major things leaked to you it'd be best to of course stay off of the halloween subreddit probably start leaving any real major halloween facebook groups or start muting search terms on twitter uh because we know that the events of halloween ends again are jumping four years into the future laura strode is supposed to be living with her granddaughter and trying to finish her memoir and myers hasn't been seen since Lori and and Lori what what it says here is Lori finally decides to liberate herself from rage and fear and embrace life however when a young man this young man of course Corey stands accused of murdering a boy that he was babysitting it ignites a cascade of violence and terror that forces Lori to confront the evil she can't control now I've already seen people say why are they doing this whole random Corey thing Corey is a random character we're now just about to meet it also I think only makes people a little bit more divisive or a little bit more uh unattracted to this time jump because you could have just had the ending of halloween kills lead into the events of halloween ends if it stuck the course of what it looked like we were going to get which was a three-part trilogy set in the same night which would have been ideal for a lot of halloween fans because it erases all of these questions about where michael was and you know the idea of why does he always come back on halloween and stuff like that so with that in mind you know knowing how you're doing a time jump picking up with a character of name Corey cunningham i feel like it kind of makes the endings of halloween kills no matter which version you watch kind of um useless to someone who many years from now will watch these movies and then turn on halloween ends and it just jumps four years into the future starts off with something very random and then focuses on this kid Corey cunningham what you could have done because again, it is describing that he will get stand accused of murdering a boy that he was babysitting. So it's most likely that he didn't really do anything directly, intentionally to murder said boy uh, or, or murder a kid, whoever he's babysitting. So, well, it does say he's a boy. <laughs> what you could have done is not apply this to Corey Cunningham. We already have a character who's been through a lot that we could have focused on and did a, done a character study of besides introducing this new character. Halloween Ends could have taken the same concept with Corey Cunningham and applied it to the character of Allison Nelson. Allison has recently lost her mother. She lost her father. She lost her ex-boyfriend. She went through so much she found out that her grandmother isn't actually as crazy as she was thought to be throughout most of her childhood and that her mother's resentment towards uh, her grandmother probably wasn't rooted in all the stuff it probably should have been. It probably was a little bit too exaggerated because she wasn't crazy. She got to meet Michael Myers herself. She saw what Michael Myers is capable of and she was a part of that mob that went after him in halloween kills out of fear and out of frustration also just wanting to again maybe get some revenge for the demise of her her father and now at this time her her mother who has died at died at the hands of michael myers so there's so many things that she's dealing with that trauma and everything that she's dealt with could have been applied to her you could have had a movie where she's the one standing accused of killing a young boy she gets sent to an asylum or something else she could be set free you know nothing's brought against her and the town of haddonfield kind of just doesn't like her because they think that she actually did do something but then it's of course established throughout the movie that it was indeed an accident that clearly seems like what they're going to do with Corey cunningham the problem is 
nobody cares about Corey already and we haven't even met him yet i'm not saying that Corey won't be a well-written character i just think that a concept like this could have been applied to the character of allison nelson and again just to borrow what dave mccray again has talked about i talked about this already multiple times dave mccray's comments about his halloween 5 concept what you could have done is done this same concept with allison nelson who four years later we see that she's still struggling a lot with what happened four years ago and unfortunately she could have ended up in a predicament when she was babysitting that unfortunately led to an accident where she un unintentionally killed the person she was babysitting by a pure accident she gets blamed across town she's she's deemed innocent mostly because it was an accident and bodies could start dropping around the town of Haddonfield four years later they think it's Allison because she's been blamed and maybe mocked and the town hates her because she what she did what she did to that little boy. They don't want to repeat a Michael Myers, so the town hates her. So when bodies start dropping around all these four years later, the fingers are getting pointed at Allison. You could have some tension with Lori due to her connection with Allison, and you know you could build up this anticipation with your audience, playing placing this seed of doubt: is it actually Allison or is it Michael Myers that's back? You, the audience, can actually be established to know that Michael is back, but the characters around you don't know, and it builds to this final revelation that Allison wasn't the one killing these people like the town thought she was it was Michael Myers who had indeed returned that's something that would have been I think a lot more effective instead of applying this concept to Corey Cunningham and just to talk about Lori Strode Jamie Lee Curtis's recent comments that she had she said something about the final shot of the movie saying that the last shot was part of a night shoot and I was in a car it was a close-up of me in the car and when we got out of the car it was 4 30 in the morning and there was the picture of my face on the screen now again just drawing a lot of assumptions and making assumptions going off of what she said that is an indication of course that Laura Strode makes it out of this movie alive I would imagine Michael Myers is going to die. Laura Strode probably is going to get the upper hand over Michael Myers. And the test screening reactions that I've been hearing about have been mostly mixed. The person who reached out to me, they said that they enjoyed the movie overall, but it was very different from what they got to experience compared to the other two, they said. Uh, and they understood that it was a departure like John Carpenter stated. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video